So guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. My name is Mike. So, today's video, I'm going to start tiling around the kitchen. It's got these little tiles here. This one being Q. Well, I think they're about £12 a box. £12.50 a box maybe, can't remember. But I've got 7 square metres. So they're about the 200 by 100 mil basically. I'm gonna do them as a brick effect style. So just got over there to do above the oven and stuff like that. <coughs> and we've got on the breakfast bar to do. It's on there. And then along. The L shaped part of the kitchen to do. Round to under the sink. So, yeah, a little bit to do. But for now, I'm just going to start. gonna start here <coughs> so I'll bring you in and I'll show you what I've done obviously as you can see I've gritted the walls you can use PBA SBR blue grit this is orange grit I, I like this I find it sticks a lot better it doesn't dry the adhesive out as fast so yeah orange grit um, so, basically what I've done so far, I've measured the centre from where the tiles are going to finish, either side, which is that mark there. Which is here. And then basically just just mark out your tiles, see where they're gonna be. Leave the gap for these spaces that you're gonna use. And that pretty much ends perfectly there look for the full tile like that so I'm basically I'm just gonna start tiling from this corner here work along. If there is any to cut off, which there might be a tiny, tiny bit, I can just cut it in that corner and lose it on that corner. <coughs> and obviously the next row will be like that, staggered all the way up. So I've got my buckets ready. That. So I'll open this bag and then we'll get cracking. Right, so probably a bit too much. Got a bit of water in my bucket. Got another bucket for washing the mix, the mixer. <coughs> I like to use this Ben for tile adhesive. Good, good quality tile adhesive. This doesn't set too fast, doesn't set too slow. Just like perfect. So 
So, always put your water in first. Then you can just mix. Probably wasn't too much water. If you don't have one of these mixers, you can you can mix it by hand, but if you're gonna do a big tiling job, you can get cheap enough ones now from B and Q, Screw Fix or wherever. They're, they're really handy to have. So once you give it a mix, just take your bucket trowel, this quite this square looking one here. And just scrape the edges of your bucket to make sure you haven't got any dry adhesive. Try and get into the bottom, but because you put your water in first, then the powder, it should be quite well mixed on the bottom. But that's sort of the consistency you want. You want it to slowly drop off the trowel if you have a big bit, but still tacky enough for quite a quite a bit to stay on so I like a peanut butter consistency so so when you're happy with your mix into the water then. I'm just going to use this notch trowel here to apply the adhesive to the wall. You can get different sized ones. I think this one's a 6mm, which should be more than enough for these tiles. So, get, you, get some adhesive on the trowel. You can see it's not dropping off or anything like that. Just 
simply apply it to the wall. Just get it on at the moment, you don't have to worry too much. So I'll probably do enough for like two or three rows because you don't want it setting too quick. So, when you have got it on the wall, just you need to go back over it, just go in one direction. So, either up vertically or up left to right horizontally. You don't want to do loads of bits like that because it might not bond as well to the back of the tire. So, always try and keep it in one direction. Simply go over. I always like to run my finger along the edge, along the bottom, so when you push it on, it doesn't all square out. Like so. so now, now that's on, you can begin tiling. So, this is. You always want to have a level when you're tiling. So I know that the worktop's level. But right on the edge here, where I'm going to start my first tile, I've got a worktop edge trim. So it doesn't sit flush. So I'm just going to put a little nick in it. So with a pen or pencil, just mark it out. Put that little nick there, full focus. Just wants cutting a little bit with a grinder.
could try that out. Spaces. I always like to use a 2.5 mil. You can use smaller, bigger, whatever you want. It's your preference on the spaces. So you got your first one in. Put your second one in. Put the spacer in between. Like so. Then just simply carry it along. Make sure they're nice and flat. Just simply hold your level on so they're not sticking out anywhere. Double check for your level all the time, because some tiles do vary. So that wants to go down. That little nick one's cutting out a bit more still. Oh, can I get that off? You see on the back, I've got a decent amount of coverage. So I'll just cut this out again. So yeah, so that's perfect for now. So, once you've got it to that stage, I like to get some spaces and just put them underneath each tile. You don't have to do this, but I find when it comes to silicon in, you can get a better silicon finish on the tiles. Always remembering to use your spaces.
This last one needs the tiniest bit taken off. So, it's with a marker pen or pencil. If I take that, that off, it should be perfect. So, you can use your grinder or snips. So, I'll probably just use my tie or snips. So I need a tiny bit more. I forgot to allow for this spacer. So if we do the same line again, that'll be enough for the spacer. If you want, you can just tidy it up with a grinder. Yep, that fits. So, for that one where I couldn't get, where I couldn't get the float in, just get a bit on your trowel. Just get it where you want it. Just put it on the tile. Yeah. So that is your first row done. And basically, you just repeat for the next row. But because I'm now going to stagger my tiles, you need to take your tape measure. Measure your, the width of your tile, which you know is 200 mil. So if I mark 100 mil or 10 centimeters, if I do a little mark, I know that that's the center of the tile. As long as I line that center up with the center. Go out line here. Give it a little push on. So, when, it, when you push them on, make sure you give them a little, don't, you don't need to push them too hard, because you don't want all the adhesive to squirt through your gaps. So, just make sure you give them a nice little push, just so they go on. So 
So now when it comes to this tile, if you get your, your next tile, if you turn it backwards, upside down, hold it to where you want to be, gonna do a mark, remember to leave enough of the spacer, like so. tile cutter here. This tile cutter is probably a bit too big for these tiles but it doesn't matter. As long as you line, mark your line, uh, line your line up on the centre piece of where you're going to put your tile. Again, tie on the right one. So just put your tile in like so. You get about your spaces. So, and then again, just work your way along. So I'll carry on until I get to the socket, then I'll show you what to do. Right, I've come as far as I can go for now. I now need to cut around this socket. So again, similar to how we did it last time, when we were cutting the end tile, and get you in so you can see so we can see that the top of the tile is going to be higher than the socket so try and pull the socket out as much as you can you basically, this with well, the edge of the socket box is in the wall, is where you want to mark your tile. So you can either get a spacer, just get a little bit of adhesive on it, and it should stay on the wall like so. So hold it in position where it needs to be. Just mark the top of the tile so we know that that's a cut and then again on the bottom just repeat the process like so so from that line to there down We'll need that piece out. So <clears throat> now we've got our marks. We're gonna get a square, our straight edge, some, something that you can mark a perfectly straight line on. Hold it onto the edge where the cut needs to be. Just draw along there. Flip it round to the other side, onto the other mark. And mark it out. And then 
with a grinder or you can get an electrical electric tile cutter ideally you want this on something flat but I'll just hold it so you can see so Do the black marks should just rub off. But now that should just go in like any other tire. Nice little press in it. Uh, and then when you come to screw your sockets back, covers it. So. Oh, lost my pencil now. There we go, it's in my pocket. It's a strange spot for it, isn't it? So, the next tile. I don't know why this keeps turning. So the next aisle, upside down and backwards again, to the wall, and then just leave your, in your mark, it just leave your mark for your spacer. Put a little X or a little tick or whatever on the back of the tile, because obviously that's the one we're going to use. And then just take it over and cut it. And then again, we just need to mark up where we need to cut it. So we've got our top mark. Again, just like before. 
same squad. And then again, when there's no adhesive, I'll just use the trowel and the bucket. Like so. So there you go. Now once the socket is screwed back, it'll cover up. Same again. Hold it. Mark it. Ideally, you should do this outside, really. There's too much dust, but it's dark outside. But yeah, that is it. So I'll finish this one off. You don't need to watch every tile go on. The top of the tiles, I'll show you that when we come to that. But the top of the tiles will be a cut all the way along the top. But then we put a trim on to finish it. So we'll come back to that shortly. Right. This is that wall finished off. Got it all tiled now. You can see what I mean about the top cut. I was debating whether to finish it there, but I think it looks better tiled up to it. And you can you can see on the top there, just finished it off with a nice metal tile trim. It's just this stuff here. So yeah. That's that done. All this here is just bits of glue. They, they put it in the box. It's just, just it's on the tiles. It just stops the tiles rubbing against each other and scratching. So all that will come off before I go out in. But yeah, that's it. So I have got this bit to do here, obviously. And then the bits round the kitchen. 
but I won't film that because I've covered everything on this wall. So we've covered how to apply the tiles, how to apply the tile adhesive, how to mix the adhesive, how to cut each tile, how to cut round sockets, and that's it. The next video will probably be grouting, how to grout, how to mix your grout and stuff like that. Best methods for dusting it off. But yeah, for now, I'll leave that there. So I'm going to continue tiling now. But for now, for this video, that's it. So, if you like that video, found it useful, helpful, subscribe, hit the like button, join me again for the next one. Thank you.